Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to copy files from your S3 bucket into your EC2 instance. To start um, in your management console, under service, click your service and under storage, click S3. So the first thing we are going to do is create a bucket. So we'll create a bucket and I'll give it a bucket name of um, my S3 bucket. 215 and I'm going to leave the region as Northern Virginia and click next and we're going to leave we are going to leave everything as default and click create bucket so create bucket so now that my bucket is create, created I'm going to upload files into it so click on your bucket upload add files and I have this zip file and this picture I am going to upload both files. So on your side, upload any zip file you have on your computer and any regular file. And all my settings is going to be default, so I'm just going to click upload. So I have both files in my bucket now. And the next thing we have to do is make our bucket and the objects in it public. So to do that, I'll go back into my bucket click on the checkbox for the bucket, edit public access, make sure this is on check, click save. And we're just going to type confirm in here and click OK. So now that we've changed that public setting, the next thing we need to do is click the bucket and we will do the same thing for the two files. So we'll select both files under actions, make public and click make public. And to test that our file is public now, we can open this and click open up here. And we are able to view it. So that means that file is public. That's the first thing we need to do. And the next thing, we need to do now is launch our EC2 instance. So under service and under compute EC2 and run instance and launch an instance. And we want to select the Amazon Linux 2. We'll use the T2 micro. So everything is going to be default. So add the storage default tags i'm not going to add any tags because we don't need it for this lab so security group for your security group we can let's create a new security group and i'll just make it my sg so my security group and i can copy that into my description as well so we already have our SSH rule from 422. We need that because we are going to be transferring the files from S3 to our EC2 instance using SSH. The next thing we need to do is we can add another rule for HTTP right here, HTTP. And we want to add it from anywhere, but over IPv4. You can do IPv6 too, but I to just do this for this example and click review and launch and launch and select the new key pair. If you have a key pair, select it. And if you don't create a key pair and if you are using your windows, you have to convert the PEM file to PPK file. So I already have a key pair. I'm just going to select that acknowledge and launch instance. So our uh, in view instance, I'm just going to wait for my instance to launch, then we'll continue. So now that our EC2 instance is running, the next thing we need to do is SSH into it using PuTTY. So if you are using the Mac, you will use Terminal, but I'm using Windows, so I'll use PuTTY. So I'm just going to start my PuTTY command. And the first thing I will always do is um, before we use PuTTY, let's um, click on our EC2 instance, the one we just launched, and copy your IP before public IP. So I'm just going to copy it, then open PuTTY. So in the host name, you're going to type EC2. 
hyphen user add then you will copy your IP before public IP address so once you copy that in there so you should have something like this then that is on that session you should type this in here with your public IPv4 address then the next thing is you come to the SSH and drop down under the up and browse and to wherever your PPK file is downloaded and if mice is here I'm just going to keep, click my um, key pair and open and and go back to my session and everything is good and I'll click open you should get this command click yes and now I've logged into my EC2 instance the first thing I'm going to do is just click sudo su type in sudo su to change to root then I am going to do yum update to update my server so update minus y so I'll wait for that to update and once that's completed then we can move move our files until it is still updating uh, give it a couple of seconds it should be the process should finish updating shortly good so now the update has complete so the next thing we can do is right now to check what directory right now we are in our home directory and you can tell what directory you are in by typing pwd and it's telling you home directly ec2 user so that's the directory you are in so we can just move our file in this directory but any directory you want to move your file in you have to currently be in that directory so we are already in this directory and if I type in ls to show us in that directory there is nothing in it so to move our files from our s3 bucket into our ec2 instance all we have to do is type wget so we click wget type in wget then let's open our s3 bucket in a new tab so open your management console in a new tab and on, go back to your s3 bucket click on your bucket and click on the first file so i'm clicking clicking on that zip file and i'm just going to copy this url this object url copy and go back to my terminal so i typed in wget so type in wget space and paste that object url in there and click enter you can see that as it has moved that let's move the other one so we're going to go back to our s3 bucket select this um, picture open it copy the url right click copy go back into my terminal and i'll type w get space copy that url in there and click enter it has also complete everything so you can see the hundred percent in here now if we check which directory we are in so i type pwd we're still in our home directly for the ec2 user so let's type in ls and now you can see both rocket zip and the solidworks uh, jpeg file in your ec2 instance so that is how you move the file from your S3 bucket to your EC2 instance. Remember, your bucket has to be public and the object in it has to be public. Then you SSH into your EC2 instance and you use the wget command. Thank you. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you. And I'll see you in another tutorial.